Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube. Eli Fishman Sports here with uh, here with hitting coach for the Connecticut Tigers, Mike Hessman. Hess, thanks for coming on. I uh, appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on the show. You were selected by the Atlanta Braves in the 15th round of the 1996 Major League Baseball draft. What was your reaction uh, to being drafted, and how'd you find out? I uh, got a phone call from the Braves saying that they drafted me. Uh, I was extremely excited. I knew that I wanted to play pro ball and uh, just thankful to have the opportunity to get that chance. You've played at every single level in the Detroit Tigers organization, uh, MLB, uh, sorry, rookie ball through Major League Baseball. Uh, what's it like to have that in your back pocket and as a coach that you've played in every single level in their uh, team's system? Uh, yeah, I came up with the Braves, you know, so the, the – Lower levels was through the Braves organization and then uh, AAA with the Tigers, but been in the Tigers organization for seven years as a player. This is my first year as a coach, but overall been in the game for, uh, you know, 20 years now, so i got a lot of experience and uh, been up and down a little bit and then climbed my way through a system. So just trying to pass that knowledge on to these players, make sure they keep their heads up and play the game right, play the game um, hard and go out there and hustle and prepare every day. On August 22nd, 2003, you were called up to Major League Baseball uh, to face your call to face the Colorado Rockies, and you made your Major League debut. How did it feel to get that call that you were going to the Major Leagues and then step onto that Major League field? Oh, it was awesome, man. I met the team in San Francisco, and then I got my first pinch hit. Uh, like you said, was in Colorado, but uh, it, just unbelievable. You know, you never forget that first call up that you get. Um, I ended up getting my first hit when we got back home in Atlanta. Um, but, yeah, just extremely blessed and thankful to be able to have a chance and to be able to say that I got to the major league. A single, it wasn't a double, it wasn't a triple, it was a home run yeah. off Mike Stanton of the New York Mets. What was it like uh, circling bases for the first time and in your first at bat, uh, first hit? It was, it was awesome. You know, it was one of those moments I'll never forget. Uh, we were down in the game. Uh, I think we still lost the game, but uh, it was one of those at bats where I fouled off four or five pitches, worked the count. I think it might have been 2-2 at the time, fouled a bunch of balls off, and then finally got one over the plate that I didn't miss. Uh, so in 2007, while you were in AAA, you had 31 homers, which was way better than anyone else in the league, and you were named the MVP um, of the International League. What was it like to have that amazing season and get recognized by being named the MVP? Uh, it was awesome. You know, I think uh, I think it was probably between me and Votto that year. I think he was in Louisville, and he was having a great year. Obviously, he's a tremendous hitter and had a great uh, major league career, you know, just an outstanding player as well. But I think... Uh, you know, to be able to be recognized for, uh, you know, the accomplishments throughout the season was a great honor and, uh, you know, thankful to be able to add that to the resume. In 2008, uh, you played in the Olympics um, with the U.S. and won gold, uh, sorry, won bronze, actually, um, in the famous Olympics. What was it like to be a part of that big event? Uh, it was awesome, you know, just having the uh, honor to represent our country in, in baseball. Um, you know, I, I, Happy to see that they're bringing it back for the next uh, Olympics set for Tokyo over there in Japan. Uh, but, uh, again, just being able to represent our country, being able to go out there and perform and bring a medal home has been uh, a great memory. Uh, you're actually the record holder uh, in minor league baseball. You have more home runs than anyone in minor league baseball. What is it, how does it feel to have that record? Uh, it feels good. You know, I try not to think about it. I don't think about the numbers or uh, kind of what I've done. You know, I just... Uh, play the game hard, play it the right way, just thankful to have an opportunity to play for so long. And, uh, you know, it's special how it all turned out, you know, being able to get to those numbers and stuff. But I never played the game for the numbers or the records. I just wanted to go out there and help a team win a game and help my teammates out. Your record breaker was actually a grand slam a few years ago, number 433. How did it feel to get that get that record breaking home run? Uh, it was awesome. Um, you know, trying to get the home run to tie was a little more stressful, you know, but once I got the one to tie it, um, I just kind of had the weight off my shoulders, and it was only a couple days later when I ended up breaking it. But uh, awesome experience uh, for it to be a grand slam was something special, and uh, it ended up being the last home run I ever hit, so pretty cool. Uh, so you played nine positions in one game. You're known for that. You have the all-time home run record. Your first hit was a home run. Obviously, many great accomplishments throughout your career. What's been the best one? Um, you know, probably getting getting that first call up to the major leagues. I think as we play this game and we get into professional baseball, obviously our goal is to get to the major leagues. So uh, being able to say that I got there, um, you know, they can't take that away from you. So extremely thankful and honored to be able to play this game for that long and hopefully I can pass some of that knowledge on to these younger guys now. All right, thanks so much, Mike.